officer-involved shootings in Vancouver, and that's renewed the debate over body cameras. And the police chief there is asking city leaders to look into that idea. The friends of one recent victim are set to speak at city council tonight. Our Cole Miller live in Vancouver now with more on this. Cole? Well, good afternoon, guys. It is worth noting that the council is not voting on anything tonight. This is very preliminary. This discussion likely just starting to take shape. The chief, though, calling this an opportune time to dive into this idea of officer-worn body cameras. Now, since the first of the year, we have seen four officer-involved shootings with Vancouver police from a freeway shootout down I-205 to three deadly ones. One of those involved a 16-year-old police say refused to drop a knife. Then a 28-year-old man who friends say was battling mental health problems was shot standing on a corner just outside of downtown. Officers there saying he was waving guns around. And most recently, a 44-year-old man was shot and killed during a narcotics traffic stop. Police Chief James McIlvain says the idea of body cameras for officers offers transparency, but he also cites the expenses that come along with them. By having a body-worn camera uh, uh, videoing that incident, at least you're going to have some perspective of what occurred. Uh, so I, I think that that increased trust within our community. Um, some of the downsides seriously have to do with, you know, what is the cost to it. Yeah, a lot to discuss with this idea. Family and friends of one of those men shot and killed, they do plan on speaking tonight at City Council. Again, nothing is formally on the agenda. We'll likely see this take place during that time for public testimony. Now, that City Council meeting gets underway at 6.30 tonight. We're going to head over there. We'll be covering that. Of course, we'll let you know what comes out of that discussion. Live in Vancouver, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. All right.